Hey guys, I hope you are all doing well and had a good Christmas break and a happy new year, but today I bring you some very exciting news regarding the new Batman Arkham game being developed by WB Montreal. To begin with, we will talk about the new logo. On January 9th, WB Montreal gifted us with a new logo tease. They gave us the new logo in three parts. One on Twitter, one on Facebook, and one on Instagram. Once the three parts are assembled, they create this image, which was later officially revealed by WB Montreal themselves. Many people believe this to be the logo of some form of government agency, possibly led by Amanda Waller. This should not be ruled out, as the origins end credit scene included Amanda Waller, and she was a major player in the story of Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate, so WB Montreal may have some plans for her. However, I believe this bears many similarities to the GCPD logo from the Arkhamverse, both from Arkham Asylum and Arkham Knight. Here is the logo and the Arkham Knight GCPD logo side by side. The first similarity is the bird at the top of the new logo. It also bears perfect resemblance to the one atop the GCPD logo. Secondly, is the small city landscape that is seen just beneath the bird in the new logo. This bears heavy resemblance to the city landscape on the GCPD Arkham Knight logo that is placed here. Now, that is all the similarities to the Knight GCPD logo, but there is one on the Asylum GCPD logo. On this new logo, we can see a star-like spikes coming out from different sides of the logo. This is similar to the GCPD badge from Arkham Asylum. You can clearly see that the Arkham Asylum badge has these star-like spikes too. I think all these similarities are too incredible to ignore. I'm about 80% sure this is the new GCPD logo from this new Batman Arkham game. But just remember, take this speculation with a pinch of salt as we may be wrong. Now onto the second image. This image comes from WB Montreal slash redacted slash and I'll leave a link in the description below so you can look for yourselves. When you click on this link, it'll come up with this picture. It's almost like a web of logos, and the concept of it being a web of logos is yet again pure speculation. You can already see two officially revealed logos placed in two of the circles, the GCPD logo and the possible Demon's Head logo. Now that still leaves eight more logos to be revealed, but maybe not. If we take the other three logos that were revealed in September and place them in this web of logos, then we only have five spaces left, except when we take the possible Court of Elbows logo, which was revealed to be on a t-shirt that Dev posted a photo of way back, then the outer ring of the web of logos has been filled, leaving four remaining spots in the middle. And those four remaining spots could be filled with the logos representing each of these four different heroes, Batman, Robin, Nightwing, and Batgirl. Now, we only have speculation to back up these four spots. However, in one of my videos in the past, which I'll leave a link to in the description below, we talked of the Arkham Legacy leak. This leak said that the game will feature the Bat Family, and for this game to be a sequel to Origins, the only four members of the Bat Family that would be available and fits perfectly with the timeline would be Batman, Robin Jason Todd, Nightwing, and Batgirl, the four logos in the middle. These four logos would make sense and would fit with the theories, speculation and rumours from the past. But why are these four being surrounded by all the other logos? Well, the outer ring of these logos could be different factions in the game. For example, the GCPD, the Court of Owls, the League of Assassins, the Penguin and even Amanda Waller's agency and they could all be working to capture the Knight, the tagline that has been accompanied with these different logos at the time of the reveal. That could be why these logos are surrounding the four heroes. These different factions from the city are working to close in on them and capture Batman, who is the Dark Knight. Now many people believe these three logos are just the evolution of the Demon's Head logo, which would explain why WB Montreal released a video showing them morph into one. This means that these three spots are now vacant within the web of logos, meaning three new logo reveals could be on the way, including the official reveal of the Court of Owls logo. This may not be the case, and these logos might be the ones to complete the outer ring, but I do find it suspicious that these three were not initially included in the web, and the demon's head logo was. Finally, to wrap up the video, if we zoom into the bottom right hand corner, we can see that there is a trademark reading 2020 WB, EI, and DC. This could possibly confirm the release of the game to be this year, as the photo of this web with the two symbols seems to be legitimate, which is also backed up by the inclusion of the WB and DC in the trademark. So what are your thoughts on this new logo and the web of logos? Do you think we still have eight logo reveals to go or just five? Please tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Please remember to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!